Guys, like you said, very deceptive. You have Ari James and Ocean uh, in this squad, and we definitely have seen a little bit more potential from Washington State in the past. But for Missouri s and and Washington State, I mean, they're both pretty much at the bottom here of the conference. So a win here benefits either squad. I, well, obviously a win benefits either squad, but more than not, as an open net, and that one just rolls in. Ocean will get credit for the, the first goal. Cutting analysis here. That goal benefits Washington State. Okay, all right. <laughs> you know, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> You're right, I didn't have to, but it felt so good. Ocean. Getting the opening goal for the Cougars. That's a, just, a, I think, kind of a, a crushing blow to the psyche for M Missouri S&T. Because then they struggled so much last night. And they, at times, it seemed like they were finally getting on the same page. And then they didn't really do anything wrong there. Just Ocean gets the challenge of his life, and it goes into the net. Yeah, so for them, you know, making adjustments here very early as, you know, we get things started. But I think as long as rotations are on form, wait, they get it the other way. This time it's Sugar with the roll in. Okay, sure. Now we're even. Both teams have one of these goals. And now we can settle down and play some actual Rocket League. I'm here for it. I did not know what we signed up for when we got this series. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> Uh, it is Rocket League after dark is what we've got here as dark Ari now will throw one deep into the zone But time is right there Ari brings it right back in looking for ocean could not hit him But ocean will take the initiative himself and force James all the way back time on a quick counterattack and Missouri s &T has the lead this is a very quick counterattack. I mean, the burst is quick, right? One Bernie to Sugar, and then time with an open net opportunity, and he lets that in. Missouri has to see quickly regaining the lead here. So now we'll see what Washington State has up their sleeve. This team's been around together for a while. We've seen them in the CCA competitions, just about anything, any competition that they can get their hands on. They are definitely on the grind, trying to make a name for themselves here in CRL's Western Conference. James is going to be on the other end of this ball from Ocean, taking his time, waiting out Bernie, and Ari goes top corner. Love this top corner shot from Ari. Good placement here. Low on boost as well. Only has 25 when Ari jumps up for this one. Actually grabs a 12, but despite that, having low boost and enough speed to beat the defense is exactly what you need when you're trying to tie up the game. Yeah, they just had Bernie sitting there waiting, giving him all the time, and, well, James took it. Tie ball game now. All the chaos just cancels everything out. Bernie bumps Ari out of the way, but Osher will come in and finish the defensive play. Sugar couldn't do anything with that ball up by the ceiling. And this is awkward now for the Missouri s &T defense as Ocean... Just trying to get that ball around in front. James has a full tank of boost. He'll go around time. But again, Bernie is right there. And more importantly, playing it away from James. Not giving the Cougars an easy play in their own end. Uh-oh, this is trouble too. Collision between James and Ocean. Ari forced back. It's not clear yet. And Ocean will guide it to the side. Ocean got a lot of time there. Now Bernie coming up trying to eliminate... The space for a clear. Sugar was looking for a demo in net, but time could not get around the ball. So Washington State will look to clear this out. Offense, though, from them has been pretty quiet after, I'd say, an early goal or two. Need to find that pass play in field like they did for Ari, but right now they're struggling on the defense. Both these teams are letting the opposition get real, real close to the net. Maybe a little fortunate that it's only 2-2. Still two long minutes to go here. Time and Bernie get their signals crossed a bit, and James will just pop this away. Sugar at least got a deflection, but this is still an opportunity for Washington State, and they almost converted. Ari's going to get another look, but Time beats him to the punch. Oh, Bernie Sugar wants to get into the, that play, but now Ocean will try to clear this out. This is dangerous. It's a minute left. Minute 30. 
And still, that possession changes and no team really have any solid foundations means this could go either way. Ocean trying to play this downfield and he did well to win that challenge. Got a demolition, got the ball centered and Ari goes to the same spot, same result, it's 3-2. And two for two here. Both shots Ari's taken have been in the same place. That top left bang to put Washington State in the lead. Minute 13 to hang on to this. And we know Missouri s and is not going to back down. James trying to add another important insurance goal, but it's not going to work out this time. Bernie, a little late getting up there, but still won this all the way towards the Cougar end of the field. That's going to be awkward off of James, and time almost punished him for it. They may still get a quality opportunity here as James is forced into the air very quickly. Didn't have much of a plan with it. And it's all Sugar can do just to boost into that wall just so he can get a landing and try to get control of his car. They try to get back into this game, giving up a late goal. Oh, now Ocean. This is not the best spot to be in. You can see the creep as the shot goes in, almost in Ocean. Able to get the stop there, 30 seconds here. And Washington, even though they have this one goal lead, I mean, this could change at a moment's notice. They have to get this under control in the final seconds. Oh, uh, that ball is centered and Ari is not moving. We will look into that in a moment, but James is gonna dribble this out of the zone. Looks like Washington State is gonna try and finish this one out 2v3 and it's gonna work out for the Cougars as this will touch down and Washington State hangs on for game one. Yeah, we just got the word. Ocean is saying that Ari ended up disconnecting. And yeah, you can you can see the ping uh, in that post game. So yeah, that, that's a situation currently. But despite that, they still end up taking game one. They were able to hold on towards the end where Missouri has a team. I mean, it was so, so much offensive pressure there. And they, they ended up managing it very well. But... That being said, for, for Missouri s &T, they have to convert on some of those chances that they're getting. Putting just the small shot on is not going to be good enough. I love the titles that some of the players opt to go for and when they compete on stream in these CRL events. Of course, everybody from Washington State rocking the CRL Fall 2020 contender. Bernie as well. And then you got, you got time out here with Season 2 Grand Champ. Boy, <laughs> that's a throwback. Good grief. They didn't even have all the maps that are currently in the game back in season two. What a yeah, guy. I mean, some of the maps we're playing on weren't in, weren't in the game. <laughs> Wasteland. Woo. All right. All right. Yeah, that's a, that's a horror story that you could tell people later on about playing on the original Wasteland. We're going to take a moment to make sure Ari is good to go for game number two here. Again, he had two of the goals that Washington State scored. The second and third goals, both top left corner he was deadly when given an opportunity and we'll see if missouri snt has an answer for him here as we move on to forbidden temple i think what's really important here for washington state is right we we saw a couple of goals due to some top corner shot placements from ari and i think you know them noticing that they get those quick and field passes off and those opportunities is going to be very important for them uh, as you know, the ad adaptations that we're going to see from MST is going to be, you know, eliminating space, right? Let's not give them those lanes to shoot at. So they may have to get a little bit, cre a little bit more creative here as game two gets started. What hides up the bag of or into the bag of tricks for Missouri SNT? We will find out here. James, line drive oh. goes barred down and away. And time can clear this out. Just, boy, another inauspicious start for Missouri SNT. Game one, it was that long bomb from Ocean that ends up right in their net. And that from James almost did as well. Oh, and Ari was trying to get a piece of that ball, Sugar. Trying to turn things around. That's a big demo, but it got a piece of the ball. So now it will be cleared downfield. And you can see here the rotation as the ball is in the midfield. James with that carry. He's going to spearhead the charge here for Washington, but they can't hold on to any possession. Not a good read on the play. And Sugar will try to do the same. It's that That's really been the big factor for both teams is the second man challenge is either non-existent or it's not good enough. 
Sugar, indirect center for time. Bernie got a demolition on James. That'll actually help him out with the rotations a little bit. He can maybe make a stop here with default boost that he did. Now Sugar just, well, accidental touch. Pops that right by Bernie. Mm -hmm. And Washington State accidentally finds themselves with a scoring opportunity, but it's going to be well wide off of Ari. But Missouri s &T, they oh. kept the pressure on there. They're bringing it right back to the Cougars' end of the field. James couldn't get this out of the corner. Ari can, but it goes right to time. They were just waiting for that ball to get down in front and, and for Missouri s &T to get a quality look on the net because they just haven't had just that one blast of a shot. This goes off of time and in. Are you kidding me? Ooh, you don't like to see that. Not at all. Ocean gets the carry time, tries to get a piece of the ball, but then it's just sent skyrocketing the other way. And it, I, I understand making a challenge on that play, but in some cases, it's probably better to just let it go and go back. Wow. Well, that just happened. Another <laughs> one. I mean, what are we going to call these goals? Like Washington State specials or something? I mean, they've scored some truly bizarre goals. Actually, Missouri s &T has given yeah. up some truly bizarre goals these last couple of nights. Remember JoJo Cat's hat trick in game one. Now Bernie will roll this through after things just grinded to a halt in front of the net. But you need a goal like this to kind of, you know, settle things down before they get out of hand, reset. And Bernie gets the one that MST needs. He just dives at the ball when he sees it played out. It's a perfect play. And now it's a tied up game. Oh no! Almost oh, it doesn't matter on. how they get it, they'll take it. But that one almost goes in as well. Now time to center for Sugar. Shots on. That better defense out of Ocean. Oh, that's great out of Bernie, too. Keeping the ball away from Washington State. Forcing Ari all the way downfield to try and get even a touch. Now time is still downfield. Thought about stealing boost. Instead, he changed his mind late. So that boost is going to stay right there. And when you watch Washington State, keep in mind, these guys are playing a little bit too aggressive, sometimes to their own detriment. We saw Ocean go back for a challenge where he was placed actually in a perfect position, but he ended up diving backwards. But wait, he may have an open net here. Time will be able to pick it up. As again, rotational mistakes coming out from both sides. I think it's really going to be the first team that takes advantage. Going to come away with this game as it's a loose ball, but James will 50 sugar. And another one forcing Missouri SNT all the way back to their own end. Seemingly from out of nowhere, it's just, I mean, the ball just seems like it's magnetized and attracted right to the miners net. We are still tied though here in game two and Sugar with a vicious win there, almost gave the miners the lead. Now Bernie on top of it, looking for a shot. MST trying to play this one. It's a bounce out time. Cannot get there. James all the way on top of that ball looking for a demo, but Ooh. the shot from Ari is off target. So all Bernie has to do is remain patient. They're not done yet. James plays that high, but Sugar on that back wall and neither side is letting that back wall go away for free. And we have a minute remaining and it's still one, one a piece as James is playing that one in front. Sugar needs to get a good touch and he does. Bernie had a nice little break check there too to avoid a demolition oh. attempt, but Sugar did not avoid Ari, who just drives right through him, and Ocean gives Wazoo the lead. Sugar, I don't think Sugar saw Ari coming. And then Ari immediately sees an opportunity. Ocean only has to play it past one person. And I mean, that's just about as simple as it could be. One goal lead, 40 seconds remaining as Washington State looking to put this series on match point. Well, this is cause for concern now for the Miners. 30 seconds left in a very similar position. Chasing a game in the closing seconds. Thrown in front for Sugar. Got it over towards Bernie. Tough angle to turn that back around. And Ocean will just collect. Bring this up to the skies. Burning off so much time. Bernie was downfield. Oh. He took the midfield boost, but he's still going to be forced back. Dishes that off to time. Given right back away to Ocean. And now the Miners have to go all the way downfield. 
James isn't going to let him, and Washington State's on match point. It's interesting how close these games have been. Yep. But also, how many opportunities have gone by? I think that's something that Missouri S&T may be very irritated about. There's a lot of different chances here. But when it comes down to both these teams, rotational mistakes are the name of the game. And the team that's playing the cleanest Rocket League is going to win the series. Right now, that's Washington State. They've been able to come out with some good chances. And honestly, Ari... A big name in this series in terms of getting two goals in game one. And now the demo that opens up Ocean to take the lead here in game two. We'll see if Missouri s &T can make any changes as we load up DFH Stadium. Backs against the wall here. Missouri s &T goes 0 for the night last night on the mainstream against Arizona. They were in just about every game right down to the end but they fell short. Now trying to avoid a similar fate against the Washington State Cougars. It's been a nightmarish start to the season for the Miners. Time was looking for a corner boost that did not exist. And James, in contrast, because everything's going Washington State's way, has boost and ball, but no longer control. And Bernie's gonna have to make a save on the other side. Oh, I thought someone was there for James, but not exactly already ended up having to go back and we'll get a chance that's too far forward on the orange side time last back but does he have anyone to pass it to i don't think so james will be able to take that or i thought he was he completely misread that ball bouncing off the corner pressure from missouri s &T. they desperately need a goal and time was trying to spin this one back around did not work out so now bernie all the time in the world to work with, but that time's going to disappear real quick as Ari is all over him. Sugar pops over Ocean. It looked like he got hung up on the wall, and that slows down Missouri s &T. Another opportunity, and Bernie in time couldn't figure out who was going to take it. Bernie peeled off, but that should have been his ball all the way. Oh, now Ari looking for the follow-up there, but a miss. Ocean thought he had it. We'll play a high ball. Sugar, tough spot. James trying to wrap around it. He'll just steal the boost and get out. But the ball has not eluded him as it's still there. And it's actually in the net. Sugar will pick up a goal. Why not? Got to have Missouri s &T take a lead at some point, right? This one just bounces right through. A rare case where James couldn't get to the ball. And the Miners have a long road ahead of him. Well, that's a great first step. Still, three and a half to go here in this game. A lot can change in the blink of an eye. Bernie looking for Sugar, who missed the corner boost. James naturally took it later. Now time has that go over his head. He'll have the boost pad, oh. but at what cost? All oh, that goes around Wait. Ocean and James and Ari. Surely they'll score here, right? It's they will. No way! He didn't have to touch it! There was panic on the rotation back. And James pitches the ball in his own net. And that's a two-goal lead for Missouri s &T. Oopsies. Well, you know, you got two games to work with. It could be worse. You also still have two and a half minutes to work with. I would not count... Washington State out of this game by any stretch. So they have not been lighting up the scoreboard. Three was enough in game one. Ocean lobbing another one in, and Ari is all the way downfield. That has been a very aggressive Washington State squad, too. Any laps at all from SNT, and all of a sudden, this is a game again. Okay. The rotations getting a little bit better for Washington State. They are able to, you know, kind of get back into things. But the question is, is there enough time on the clock? They have been able to score a couple of goals per game. So we know that they have the offensive firepower in them. But now we're down by two. Is that deficit too much? Bernie trying to casually play out of the zone. And he may have got a little too nonchalant. Sugar and company bail him out. Now Ocean. Around Bernie. James is there, but so is time. 
Oh, Ari with a clean win. Ocean coming on, and he just beat the defense to the punch, and it's a one-goal game again. And Ari was cr diving into the defense there, crashed it up, and next thing you know, Ocean sees an opportunity, pre-flips into it, and it's a smooth sailing goal for Washington State. 143 left in game clock, and if Missouri S and T aren't careful, we can see this tied up. James, again, forever and a day to play this ball, but time closed on him quick. Ari, clear right down center street, but it is blocked away by Bernie. Sugar now forces Ocean into action, and James is shot. Boy, it's just a lot of tests for both these teams. Just, all right, hit this. Try and get a, uh, a rebound opportunity. That's blocked away by Ocean, and James is going to have that ball get away from him. Bernie dropping one down. It's a slow bouncer, and Bernie just could not turn that around for a shot on target. Washington State was low on boost there. The only person who had boost was Ari, and Ari was out to play. Meanwhile, a shot comes in, James. It's barred down, but it's out. He'll get the 50 to try to keep it in. And Ari will look to play it in front, but the clear will come in. That was a close chance. Waterfall opportunity here, but James clears away. Now down to 35 seconds. Boy, a lot of near misses. We said that a lot in the last series of the night. Both times involving Missouri s &T. Great pass out of oh! James. Ari denied by Bernie at the last moment. He's had his struggles, but he might have just kept Missouri s &T alive in this series. Now Ari again for James, blocked by time. More precious seconds burn off the clock. Only six remain. Ari didn't get it downfield, but they have the whole team just around the ball, but they could not break the zone. And we're headed to game four if this ball can touch down. James and Ari have other plans. Ari trying to read what the defense is gonna do, and the defense ultimately did nothing. Missouri SNT forces game four. Yeah, they stay alive. And honestly, I did not expect that. The Washington State, I mean, they had some really impressive drives downfield. Uh, they went all in on offense, plenty of chances. And Missouri's defense, honestly, is what wins them this game. A lot of good stops from them. They are able to clear away a lot of danger. And that was a big factor because Washington State, oh, they came crashing down on them. So, so often, Daz, we talk about a team getting a 2-0 lead or a 3-0 lead in the best of seven. And you have a shot at closing out a team. You don't take that opportunity. Now Missouri s &T has some confidence. Probably for the first time all season, they have some confidence now. Can they keep this ball rolling downhill or will Washington State regain their form and take care of business on Utopia? We'll find out here. A new five minutes on the clock. And that is probably not the start Washington State had in mind when they opted for that particular kickoff. Yeah. I don't, I don't think that was the best sign here, but it's really something to pay attention to, the start of this game, because we see Missouri s &T, If they get on the board here very early, they can hold it for the remainder of the game. Meanwhile, Washington State trying to do that same thing. This is going to be a very testing game four. Bernie defensively has really stepped up for the Miners as well. Some critical saves coming down the stretch in game three. And now he's downfield. No, it's Sugar downfield off the feet from Time. Oh, but Time and Bernie double commit again. Time made a late decision to go after that ball, and it's gonna turn into a save out of Bernie. Oh, they created a mess, and Bernie cleaned it up again. Oh man, Bernie's becoming a big Missouri SET though. That transition to offense not necessarily the best looking. So though. Unable to come up with anything here in the start, which is kind of dangerous because we know when Washington State gets settled in, they can really take control. And then, I mean, I don't want to wait for that burst if I'm Missouri s &T. Bernie throwing another to the backboard. Sugar's there, but so is Bernie. <laughs> How many double? 
Kappa commits are we gonna see out of this team? And finally it turns into this from Bernie. Look at Bernie. On defense and on offense, making the big plays for Missouri ST. And he ends up picking up the first goal of game four. You need a player like that at a clutch moment, and he has not failed to deliver for this team. Let, let me simulate the comms on that particular play. Bernie just goes, I'm passing. And so, sure, Sugar's like, all right, I'll go up. I got this. And Bernie's like, no, to me. Worked yeah. out for Missouri S&T. They're on the board first, trying to force game five, making a bit of a reverse sweep. But Ocean's got other plans. Washington State immediately ties the game. And there's that infield pass for Washington State. James finds Ocean. Ocean puts it way behind time. And this is looking like it may be a shootout here. Sugar. Uh, he was very indecisive, so Bernie took the initiative. And again... A double commit between Bernie and Sugar. That's been kind of the theme of CRL 21. Does not result in anything this time around. The Washington State quickly transitions onto the attack. Ocean looking for a teammate. May eventually find its way to James. But it should be possession for Bernie. Instead, it's given away, or rather taken away by James. And Ocean strikes for the sixth time. And there it is. James to Ocean once again. As Ocean making sure the shot is on target. Both teams having highlight players. And Ocean has definitely been one this series. Ocean's been unreal. Sugar couldn't get there to this is. ball. And Ocean hits another. Ocean with the hat trick. James with the playmaker. Ari with eight points. But Ocean... Again, that's so huge here oh for Washington God, State. Does. Yeah, that was not a joke. That was not oh a joke. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. Hey, game scoring everything, right? Oh, boy. He got eight out of Ari, 58 out of Sugar, 54 out of time. And meanwhile, Bernie's just sitting there on three bills. All right. Bernie will pop this away. It's right at James. And time will have to guide that to the corner. More points for time. All right. Oh, what a win by James again. But time will try to pop this away. Got around Ocean, which does not happen often. Missouri s &T has to chase this. Bernie will score. Boy, it looks scary for a moment. Look at this. Bernie jumping. He's going downfield, flipping with no boost. And he's still able to get a good read on that. Unbelievable. Bernie's just decided he's sick of losing. It ends here, trying to will Missouri SNT back into this series. Keep the reverse sweep bit alive. Bernie to center, and it's cleared by Ocean. Yeah, Bernie's shooting two for two. And it's got a nice couple of good saves here as well. Like you said, he getting those prime touches on defense. But he's going to need a little bit of help here. A minute 35 left here in game four. Missouri SNT down by one. They have a little bit of pressure, though. Almost a good win out of Sugar. This goes past Bernie, but you press the short. He's going to turn on it, and he had to in that case. Ocean gives way to James, so the communication working okay for Wazoo. Now time and Sugar downfield. That means Bernie's stuck at the back, collides with James. This is awkward, but it rolls up the wall, and Sugar's able to climb up and meet the ball. Time now at midfield, trying to get a piece of Ocean, and just could not. Ocean has been too quick. For Missouri SNT, they haven't been able to bump him. They haven't been able to demo him. They have not been able to stop him in this series. Oh, 50 seconds. This one in that corner, and it's getting real awkward here. Missouri SNT, they have to nullify this. So much time has been killed off the clock that they desperately need. James barely got to that. If Bernie wins that race, this is a tie game. 35 seconds remain. Ocean again out of the corner. Does not have anybody over there, so it's a free ball for time, but everybody's stuck on the back wall. This is dangerously close to the net, and James got a last second touch to steal it from Ari. It may be the one that finally sinks the Miners. Yep, the last second touch here doesn't do anything. The ball's still going towards the net, but that being said, it's a two goal lead with 25 seconds, 
And I think the miners have run out of juice. They need one going their way right now. Sugar around Ari. This ramps up. Sugar's there. Almost got over Ocean and James. Another one thrown in and James will clear away. Sugar now needs this. Towards the net with seven seconds. Got a score to have a chance at a kickoff goal. Sugar's oh, there yes. with two seconds left. There's still a chance, Stax. You see Ari trying to go for a clear here, but he knocks the ball way far out straight to time. The shot's a little off, so Sugar has to help him out. They need a kickoff play here and some matches to go with it. Must win if you ever saw one. Got to have your best play. Oh. Bernie needs to get to this, and he does. James just trying to kill this. Sugar time, Bernie. It's very awkward. It'll touch down. Washington State. Took two to get past Missouri SNT on match point, but they take care of business and get their first win of the season. Yeah, they, they did what they had to do. You know, big shouts to obviously Ocean and James because they ended up having to carry a lot of weight on the team. That's not saying Ari didn't do a lot because Ari was definitely a force in game one. We saw those two back-to-back -back top right shots and goals coming out from Ari. But that being said, even towards the end, I think you could kind of tell once Ari had to disconnect and they had to 2v3 that Ocean and James knew what, that they also had to step up and match that energy. And they did so throughout the course of the series. Credit to Missouri s &T. They made a very close series and honestly there was Bernie uh, played amazing but it just was not enough yeah the three goals and an assist out of Bernie and again he tried he tried absolutely everything to get Missouri SNT back into that series but in the end the story was Oceans 7 his offensive output carries Washington State to victory which sent things back to the desk to close out the night